Persian calendar is a solar one that has a one-to-one -one match with the calendar we use in the US as shown here. It starts on March 20 or 21 every year for 365 days. It is designed according to the seasons in Northern Hemisphere. March 20 or 21 is a spring equinox. As you see, spring equinox, summer solstice, fall equinox and winter solstice are at the beginning of a month. The number of days in a month are also designed to go with seasons. The first six months of the year are each 31 days. The five months for 30 days each. And in the last month of the year, we adjust it for a leap year. It is 29 days unless the year is a leap year which is 30 days. In the US, we make this adjustment in February. We know that the names of most of the days of the week are derived from the culture in the old days where people worshipped stars. For example, Saturday is derived from the name of the star Saturn, the Roman god of agriculture. Sunday and Monday or in fact, Sun's Day and Moon Day. In Persian calendar, the names of the months also come from the old culture. These names. For example, Meher, which is this month, is an angel in Zoroastrian tradition, which was the religion of Persians before Islam. There are three important days in Iran associated with this calendar. First is the New Year Day called Nowruz. This is the first day of the year as well as the first day of the month of Farvardin. This day is by far the most important celebration in Iran. Fall equinox is the first day of Mer, which is here, when the schools begin. So, fall equinox is another important day in this calendar. The length of day and night are equal on both of this day and that day, spring equinox and fall equinox. The longest day is on the first day of Tyr, which is here. The longest night is on the first night of the month day here. This night is celebrated big in Iran. This celebration means that people hope after this night, the nights get shorter and shorter, which means you see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. On this night, eating pomegranate, watermelon, nuts, and dry fruit is very popular. The designer of this calendar was the famous Persian poet, mathematician, and astronomer Omar Khayyam. He lived between the years 1048 and 1131. His poetry became known in the West after translated by Edward Fitzgerald in 1859. As you see here, the Earth has four important positions that we identify by two equinoxes and two solstices. The orbit is elliptical with the sun being closer to the right. It takes the Earth 89 days to go from winter solstice to spring equinox, as you see. 92 days and 19 hours in here and 93 days and 15 hours to go from there to here. And finally, 89 days and 20 hours between fall equinox and winter solstice. If you round the number of days in each, 
they correspond to what Omar Khayyam estimated as you see here 93 days here 90 days and 89 or 90 days why does the earth take these times to revolve around the sun in a year the answer is in this document click on download and you will see this pdf file and on the second page of it make sure to find this link and click on it and listen to the program not all seasons are created equal on npr